Hey guys, welcome to the 105th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the web browser control. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a button, a text box, and a web browser control. So just go over to Toolbox and drag a web browser control over to your phone. And I'm just going to resize it to make it about that big. So once you have everything on your form, let's go ahead and double click on your button right here. So when the user clicks the button, we're going to have the web browser navigate to whatever URL the user puts in the text box right here. And we're going to be using the navigate method inside of the web browser class to do that. So we're just going to say web browser one dot navigate, and this just calls for a parameter, a string parameter that will be the URL that we want uh, the web browser to go to. So we're going to say text box one dot text. So we debug here and type google.com in right here. Uh, the web browser should go there when we click this button. Yep, perfect. Exactly what we wanted. But if we change it to something different like YouTube, it should go there as well. Yep, YouTube. Perfect. Alright, so if we want the web browser or this text box to update as the user clicks around and display the actual URL, that the user is on, we're going to have to use an event to tell us when the web browser's page changes. So we're just going to go to the events here and click uh, navigated. So once it's navigated to a different location, we're going to say textbox1.text equals, and then we're going to use the URL property inside of the web browser class. And this will just get the current URL of the, that the user is on. And we're just going to have to use the toString method to convert that URL into a string. So now in the debug here, you type in google.com. If we were to type something in on Google, such as hello, click search, we can see it updates with the actual URL that we are on. There are also ba basic methods such as go back, go forward, and refresh. So I'm just going to uh, add some buttons here to do those. So we'll have this one go back, this one refresh, and this one go forward. And I might as well rename it. So I'll just say this one will be go back, this one will be refresh, and this one will be go forward. So then go back, we're just going to use the uh, go back method. So just go back and go far to refresh. We're just going to use the refresh method. This is pretty self-explanatory. And we're obviously just going to use the go forward method to go forward. All right, so now when we type in Google right here, Click refresh, it'll refresh the page. We type something in, such as hello, search. Now we go back, it should just take us back to google.com. Yep, if we go forward, it should take us to that search for a hello. Perfect. And the last method that I'm going to be showing you is the go home method. And the go home method will just go to the uh, home page that you have set for Internet Explorer. So we're just going to use webbrowser1.go home. And the reason that it goes to whatever uh, home page you have set for uh, Internet Explorer is because this web browser is built off of Internet Explorer. So just keep that in mind. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the web browser control. So see you guys.